The smallest turtle actually arrived in my head as a result of watching um, a television program with my children. This is way back in the early 80s. This little one had come out in daytime and it got a little too hot in the sun and went the wrong way. And my daughter was in tears of sadness about this because we thought it might die. And I just said, well, like, we can't have this. I'll have to have a nice story about a turtle that gets to the sea. Lindley, you know, she's got something like 35 books and so there are over 600 separate artworks. There's so much material for exhibitions, I just can't kind of, you know, contain the enthusiasm for them. I've collected ideas and written them down, so that's what everybody needs to do who needs to, who wants to write, is to um, keep the ideas they think of and uh, if they've got possibilities, they'll work one day. They sound beautiful, but the language is, you know, she uses words which on first reading a child might not know what cacophony is, warmth and whoosh, etc. And it's, they're just they're kind of like little dramas within a book and you can really be expressive. And it's a great way of teaching children language. Well, I've just known a lot of little silly dogs like that. And the smaller they are, the cheekier they are. So um, it just flew into my head. <laughs> And over the years, of course, I haven't only produced the Harry McClary books, I've actually done others as well, which is nice for me, it's a nice variation and gives me lots of extra um, and more interesting artwork to do as well.